Josh Cooper here, live at UNF 17. Very special friend of the pod here yes, and the, uh, the company, Cameron Fardad. How you doing, yes, man? Sir. I'm doing good, man. I just got to see my uh, teammate Weston Kuros win the, the lightweight title in exciting spectacular fight. fashion. Yeah. I know. He's an exciting fighter. Every, Weston's never been in a boring fight, so uh, I knew that was going to happen. I'm so happy to see him win. You know, When you train with people, you have such a... You develop such a close bond with them um, that it, it, it makes me happier than winning myself, honestly. I was just going to ask you, like, it's probably a similar feeling, you winning and seeing your brother you train with daily win. That's got to be something cool to see. Absolutely. I mean, uh, for me, I, I always love seeing my friends and their wins even more than I like because, you know, we're, we're also self-critical. and But for him, I can just be purely happy for him. And... Uh, it's beautiful to see all of his hard work pay off. Yeah, 100%. And I know, going back to you, obviously UNF 15 didn't go your way. What have you been working on after that to prove the game um, and come back victorious next time you're in the cage? Um, so one thing about that fight that I never really considered being a jiu-jitsu guy myself is uh, that sometimes it calls for me to be sort of an anti-grappler, the game plan, and, and to box. And I, my boxing uh, was working out really good. and. Uh, and uh, my opponent, all respect to him, yeah. um, but he, he didn't really want to box with me. He really wanted to wrestle, and uh, it makes sense to take the, the easier road. Rather than trying to wrestle someone who wants to wrestle, if you're a smart tactical fighter, you should defend wrestling and box if they, if they want to wrestle. So I think the lesson I learned is uh, no matter what your skills are, the more tactical fighter will win the fight. That's really interesting you say that because I've heard kind of what you just said and the opposite side where it's like, I don't really care what he's trying to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. But you're saying for you when you're in a fight, whatever he you get the sense his goal, his strategy is, do the opposite. Give well, him something. If you look at all the best fighters, um, like Goat Mountain, if you will, you've got like John Jones up there, JSP up there, Mighty Mouse up there. Um, those guys are all heavy into studying film and they're very heavy into their tactics. Sure, there's like a, a Habib right. who had the same tactic for every fight, um, but I would say that uh, the majority of, of the greatest fighters out there aren't just great because of their uh, skills, but because they're tacticians as well, and uh, I'm trying to take a page out of their book, right. moving Just kind of go with the flow. If the fight calls for it, we'll go there. Yeah, yeah and, and make adjustments, you know, see where your opponent's weak, and, you know, uh, don't, don't try to run straight into a brick wall, you know? Go around it, go over it, you know? Right. Uh, and know you, you were telling me you were ju you're just now licensed professional. Yeah. Right? yeah. Do you feel different at all or not, what? <laughs> not at all, honestly. Uh, I'm just happy to finally be doing this, this thing for real. Um, I know uh, uh, not too many people go pro off of a, a loss, um, but I feel genuinely, and this is for... Uh, any of my opponents and any of my losses, I feel I could run it back uh, and, and beat any of them. Uh, and I think as fighters, they probably feel the same way too. So all respect, but uh, I don't think that the loss diminished me at all. And uh, I think that I'm, I'm ready to take it to the next level. Yeah, no, and I can kind of sense that, right? It was it a loss. Yeah, but you have so many things to kind of like learn from. Yep. Right to where to make you a better fighter, so it makes sense why you're going pro. Like yes, that sir. was that was inevitable, right? It's cool to see that it, it just happened. Now, do we know? Do you know at all when that first pro fight's gonna be? You know, I really wanted to fight today, uh, and it didn't work out. So I'm just gonna have to talk to to George and uh, see what works out. Nothing's set in stone right now, but uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna be a part of the Up Next family forever. You know, I love this organization. I I love the Buckners. I love I love the people that that run this so uh, as soon as possible. Hell yeah, well we're definitely looking forward to it. Big fan of this guy, Cameron Fardow. We're gonna let him enjoy the night, uh, but thank you for thank the you, time. Thank you, brother. Thank you, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Signing off. Thank you.